Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with Learn Cybersecurity. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different and talk about why you should or shouldn't learn Linux if you're looking to get into the cybersecurity field. Stay tuned. If you have been looking to get into the cybersecurity field, you may have heard people tell you, you must learn Linux. You absolutely have to learn Linux or else you're going nowhere in this field. Now, to some extent, that is absolutely true. There are many roles within the cybersecurity field that do require you have some fundamental knowledge of how Linux works. Now, you don't need to be an expert in Linux by all means, but having fundamental knowledge of how that operating system works will greatly help you down your career path. Again, not all roles require the use or knowledge of Linux, but, many of the roles out there do require it. If you're looking at like pen testing or ethical hacking, having a fundamental knowledge of how Linux works is going to help you greatly in this career field. So one of the things that we're gonna do here on this channel is we're gonna talk about some of the Linux basics that I am learning and we will then transfer that knowledge over to you. I will also give you other resources out there that can help you learn Linux as well. So the big reason why everybody is always pushing Linux to get in this field is because it's a very widely used operating system across the internet as a whole. And most devices that are in range of you are running some form of Linux. Just about every single smart device that you can think of is running some form of Linux. The web servers that host basically 90% of the internet are all running Linux. There are also many environments out there that utilize Linux servers for different applications and services and things like that. And also in networking, Cisco switches are somewhat built off of Linux. So having a good understanding of that can help you there as well. So do you need to learn Linux? Is it something that's absolutely required? Can you get a job in IT or in cybersecurity without knowing Linux? Yeah, you can, it's possible. If you're gonna be an application developer, application tester, be in application security, you may not need to know Linux. If you're gonna look more into policies and management and things like that, you don't really have to know Linux, but still regardless, having a fundamental knowledge of how an operating system works that is really widely used across the cybersecurity field is probably a good idea for you to do. Now, if you have any confusion on how you can start to learn Linux, you can spin up a VM with Linux on any of your devices practically. If you're running Mac OS or you're running a Windows machine, you can download VirtualBox and you can spin up basically any single distribution of Linux that exists. Now there is one Linux distribution that is most widely known in the cybersecurity field, and that would be Kali Linux. In this distribution of Linux, it has tools built into it for cybersecurity infosec professionals. There are pen testing tools, uh, application testing tools, and things like that already baked into this distribution. So you don't have to go off and download different tools and applications to try to do part of your job that could exist in cybersecurity. Now, is Kali Linux the best operating system to start off learning? That's up to you. Now, what I'm gonna tell you is my opinion, and it's shared amongst many people, but being that there are so many different distributions of Linux, they're all run off of basically the, sem the same terminal, the same command line. It, it all functions relatively the same. So take any version of Linux that you feel comfortable spinning up in a virtual machine or installing on your own desktop or laptop and start learning it. Start learning the fundamentals of how the Linux operating system works. Again, you don't have to be a professional. It's not required that you are a Linux professional unless the job role that you are specifically going for might require that. But again, having this fundamental knowledge of how this operating system works, functions, it's a good idea. So do you have to? No. Is it suggested? Highly suggested. So that's all I got for you guys in today's video. I hope you found it useful. And if you guys wanna check back for more, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up, all that fun stuff. You know, you, know, you guys know the jazz if you've been on YouTube a thousand times before. That's all I got for you guys. So as always, take it easy.